Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be talking about my opinion on the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Rank Shake-Up. I was a legendary Eagle player, and then I lost one, one competitive game, and I deranked the DMG. And everybody's been saying, oh, I can't go and get my rank back, and everybody's complaining. But I believe this is actually a good thing. I believe this is a good thing for the Counter-Strike Global Offensive community for many reasons. The first reason is, is that the majority of players, well, a lot of players were higher ranked than they deserve to be. Like, the average rank was like MGE when it's supposed to be Nova 4. But besides from that, everybody's been complaining, really, really saying, oh, wow, well, wow, well, well, I want to be my, my rank I was. But in the end of it, in the end of it, it's really, really good because when you go and be a lower rank, it gives you more motivation to go and get back to the rank you were. Like, I have been playing non-stop this game, trying to go and get back to, uh, trying to get back to Legendary Eagle. I've won three, four games in a row. Really happy about it. Really, really happy about it. And I'm going to try to go and strive to be a better player. The reason I go and save this is because back in the day, not back in the day, two, three days ago, when I was that rank, that legendary eagle rank, I don't, I didn't believe I deserved the wins I was getting. I felt like I was getting carried quite a lot, I wasn't hitting my shots, and I was just losing quite a lot, and... Personally, I thought I just didn't deserve it because I wasn't a good enough player. And so when I finally did get demoted, and it, it, kind, it kind of kicked me in the back a little bit, and I realized, okay, I really got to go and get better at this game if I want to go and strive to get to global. And that's my aim. That's my aim at the end of this year or next year, whatever, to get the global elite. And with my win rate, I believe I can go and do that eventually. But... This, the thing is that going one step back, I think it's a really, really good thing to go forward. And the reason why is because a lot of plays would be really, really complacent. I'd be like, wow, yeah, I, I've, got, I've got this rank. Oh, look how much better I am at my, than my friends. And to an extent, yeah, that's how I was as well. And it'll be really complacent. It's like, nah, I don't need a rank up. Nah, I don't do it. But then when you go and lose that one rank, you see where you were. And even though you haven't really changed much, much in skill, it's just a kick up the bum to go and get better. And I think that's really, really cool. Like, as you can see, in this gameplay, I've been trying for one taps because that's something I really want to go and work on. Like, spray downs, yeah, I've got, I've got those down, like, pretty well. Like, I can spray down fine. But one tapping and bursting of that, that's something I want to go and work on. And that's why I've been doing that in this gameplay, trying to go and improve myself. And that's something that I wouldn't have done. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to go and talk about today. If you guys have any opinion... Oh, there, well, that wasn't really a one tap. It was on the second shot. If you guys have any opinions about this CSGO rank shakeup and whatnot, please go and post them in the comment section below. It'd be really, really cool. Just go and see what you guys think about it because I've laid my opinions on the table. I know a lot of people are very angry about it, but I think it's a good thing for the game overall. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. And the floating terrorist body says goodbye as well. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. Out.